this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee is ready to go, and that means so are we for our main event. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Muhammad the Punisher, Mokayan! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce, the Dragon Lee! So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA, Bruce Lee, ready to go for round one. The speed and the angle is just absurd, and a hard guy to simulate in training. You think you got a beat on him, and then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early go. of punches to the head, he gets tagged again. Nice side kick. Mokaya going for the body kick there, but he misses, no setup whatsoever there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Well, it didn't take as long to get our first clinch situation here. Some wrestlers pursue the takedown at distance. This guy has no issues trying to get it out of this clinch situation. No, he loves this clinch because he's got a great inside-out trip. He does a good job of changing his levels to get to the hips. He's just a good fighter from in close. He has spent a lifetime developing his skills. He wants to impose his will as an, on his opponents from this position. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Hands high, hands high. Good punch, Lance. Another big kick. He Bottom needs fighter to better move. move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Back to his feet. Just over three minutes to go. He did a great job setting up that high kick. Active here on the clinch, and he lands a big shot to the head. Oh, back to the head kick now. Head kick there blocked by Mokaya. You know, a lot of people say those don't land, but even if you're blocked them a little bit, they still put damage on you. Oh, and he lands it. Just doing a nice job, not telegraphing his shot. Clean entries. The Olympian's got to like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up once he gets to his legs. He's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. The ground strike's starting to pile up.
Just over two minutes to go. This is a terrible position. Well, doing his able best to avoid the ground and pound here. Nice job by Lee. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Excellent ground and pound there by Muhammad Mokayev. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Mokaya. Well, he's avoided a lot of the damage here on the ground. Nicely done with the head movement there. Not staying still underneath his opponent is allowing him to not get hit with anything too damaging. Mokaya's back in format. Watch a good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Thought about a joke, instead flattens him out. And now he's got a lot of options offensively, champ. Yeah, he's got all the options available to him. Now he just has to get all that hip pressure into his opponent's back and just start raining down the ground and pound. And if you're the bottom fighter, better start intelligently defending oh. yourself. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so it was all about the liver kicks and the body attack in that previous round. DC, the highlight. The liver kick is a nasty kick because it only takes one to land in the perfect spot, and it will shut your body down completely. You won't be able to stand. You won't be able to fight. All you want to do is exit the octagon. He better get his elbow down, or his opponent's going to continue to take Ready. advantage of that Ready. weakness. Here we are, early round two. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Oh, this is not good. Mounted crucifix, all that body weight from the top position. This could be the beginning of the end. Yes, this could be the beginning of the end. This is a very, very bad position for the bottom guy. Top guy has moved into a position where he can finish the fight. He just needs to make sure that the trap he has set is still tended to so that the guy doesn't escape from it. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Mokayev. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Mokayev. Great job landing from the top position. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Stay in tight. Stay in tight. Grab the head. Grab the head. All right, so now we start to see some visible damage in the form of swelling as the ground and pound strikes continue to land. Massive shot lands. It's over, John. Fight's done. Nice shots landing from the top position. And another one. Another strike from the top lands for him. 
standing over his opponent here and making these strikes count. Beautiful sequence there by Mokayev. Lands the ground and pound strike here. Another strike gets through from the top position. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Mokai. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. You cannot sit in this position. Referee will have no choice but to stop the fight. Like that. Lands the ground and pound strike. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Lee getting absolutely worked from the top here on the wrong end of nearly all of these ground and pound strikes. Oh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. Massive shot from the top. Oh, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moments and they both showed true skill on the ground. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here and as a result has really picked up the pace in round two. Big shot lands for both guys. Under a minute now in round two. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. In the half guard. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? Oh, he reverses the position now. Nice work on the ground by Lee. And it looks as though he'll let his opponent stand up here. Yes, he will. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, the fighters head back to the stools, and certainly it's a tale of two corners. One man can barely see out of one of his eyes, and if the doctor sees that visual, he might call an end to the action. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much. And if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of his defenses. Ready. Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. The fighters separate. Mokaya gets the double leg takedown. How good was that? He passes the half. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Good work from the top here by Muhammad Mokaya. He's got to start throwing now. These ground strikes are starting to add up. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Mokayev. He's very accurate in the ground and pound and is showing because he's landing so consistently. 
Outstanding pressure from top position here by Mokai. Referee took a look at the ringside position after yet another blow hit right on that previously targeted spot. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Muhammad Mokaya. Oh, big ground strikes continue to land. A oh, hard ground and pound strike there. I believe that one opened him up. Right to the knee on belly. Big, big shots landed by him now. Gains great posture and starts raining down punches. If his opponent does not move, this fight is going to be stopped. Mokayev's back to the side control now. Oh, right to the mouth. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Fight back! Fight back! Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Mokayev's in half court. With two minutes and change to go in round three. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and it's starting to show itself. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Oh, nice. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Muhammad Mokayev. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity path to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. All right, half guard now. Not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting. Oh, big shots raining down. While well, landing several strikes here from the top, standing over his opponent. Good right work here by Mokai. This is where he wants to be. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Mokayev. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Well, the ground and pound has been working for him. Nice job here by Muhammad Mokayev. Great job finding his shots from the top position. There it is, another strike on the ground, gets through. Relentless pressure from the top by Mokai. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, heading back to the corner now after that round. And Lee's eye is in real trouble, folks. That does not look good. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see the ringside position be called on here. He might even stop the fight, we'll see. All right, so the cut man attends to the fighter who has essentially been rendered a one-eyed fighter at this point in time. Some replays from the previous round. No defensive intent, no defensive intensity. No attention to his defense, and this costing him. Now he's dealing with a massive cut over his eye, and that's going to make it hard for him to see. He's got to change something, man. He's got to. You ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, here is round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You got to get back off of that stool. And this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Oh, nice takedown defense. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. He's hurt really bad. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. You see him 
put himself into the half guard. Likes the control, yep. Side control now. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Mokaya. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking tip. He got it done with his strike, he fought well behind the jab, but it was the significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judge's mind. Good work from the top here by Mokayev. Oh, another strike lands from the top. All right, side control now. Mokayev's back in side control. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. We've seen you go to this a couple times, no? This is one of my favorite techniques. I got Volkan Ozdemir here, and I just landed punch after punch after punch. They didn't have to be hard, but if you can land 30, 40 strikes in a row, the referee will have no choice but to finish the fight. Oh, another huge ground strike landed by him there. How much more can one man take? Ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Mokaya. Well, he's in a compromise. This man is landing brutal ground and pound. Mokaya's in half guard. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Mokaya's right back to the full mount. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. Working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Mokayev. Oh, oh these ground out. strikes are just brutal. Well, eventually he's going to try to get up, but he's moving his head pretty well. He's having his way with him here. Under two minutes here to go round four. All right, just as we saw a few seconds ago, he finds the home for another ground and pound strike. Beautiful punch lands there from inside the guard. Nice positional control here. He Bottom needs fighter to better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Well, good dexterity and movement here on the ground to avoid any further damage courtesy of that ground and pound. Nice job off of his back by Lee. Ref won't help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of mount, they will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of this position. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Mokayev's got his back yet again. On oh, another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Oh, he's got to be careful there. Yep. Oh, huge oh, oh, heavy shots continue to rain down. Well, that combination is going to leave a mark. You see him getting top position, standing over his opponent, and delivering the ground strike. Nice job by Muhammad Mokayev. Oh, big shots from the top. Oh, big, big shots here. Another ground and pound strike lands for this right man. Right oh, effective utilization of the ground and pound here by Mokayev. Quick hit movement there, and he does indeed get back to his feet. Nicely done. Uh, 20 minutes in the uh, can, five to go. All right, mercifully, that is it for the round, and Lee's eye is in rough shape. I mean, I would just probably quit, but he's not going to do that. But I would not be surprised if the ringside physician did come in and take a look at that here between rounds. All right, well, no surprise to see that eye continue to be targeted. Some replays from the previous round in which a lot of damage was doled out. Well, the cut man's got some work to do to try to give this kid an opportunity to stay in the fight because the reality is he has taken far too many shots to the eye and now he's dealing with a nasty cut. He has got to change something. What a beautiful jab landing there. 
Just missed with the leg kick. Nice job defensively. He blocked that punch. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body. Really starting to connect. there, DC. He is officially rocked. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. All right, same bat time, same bat channel. You think he's going to look to set up that hook again here? I mean, you can see it, John. You can see him doing it. You can see him sneaking looks to see where that hand is going to be. He's sneaking looks because he's going to fight. Oh, 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 oh. Hurt again. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left hook there. Nice level change. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Continuing to stay. Oh, heavy shots raining down. <laughs> Posture's up now and lands a vicious head strike. Another ground and pound strike lands. He's got to be careful here. Big, big shots landed by him now. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Oh, this could be over soon. Will suffocating work from the top here by Mokayev. Oh. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Oh. And how much more can he take? Herb Dean steps in! Oh my goodness! You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me! Make the bad man stop. A nice stoppage win for him here tonight. And the other side just couldn't handle the incoming assault. A flurry of punches, most of them upstairs. And when those big shots land repeatedly, the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight. All right, the official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at two minutes, 33 seconds of round number five. Declared the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad the Punisher. So how about this? We have a new UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I think that guy beats Daniel Cormier. I, think I mean, he does. this guy beats anybody.